Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show a plastic extruder system that I built. The end result was to produce a synthetic cost-effective growing medium for my aquaponic system. The extruder consists of a hopper for high-density polyethylene pellets. An auger then forces the pellets through a dual-zone heating chamber. The heated material is forced through a small die. The temperature in each zone of the heating chamber is controlled by a Teensy AVR microcontroller, which is monitored and adjusted through its USB port connected to a laptop. The auger is driven by a windshield wiper motor, and it is geared down using an old bicycle sprocket and chain. The hopper is filled with HDPE pellets, where they are slowly forced into the heating chamber. It can also be filled with shredded milk bottles or shredded milk bottle caps to add color. The heating chamber is covered in some fiberglass insulation to conserve heat. There are two thermal probes mounted near the middle and end which provide accurate readings to the controller as the material is heated. The heating elements draw around 16 amps at 12 volts. The molten plastic that is extruded from the die is squeezed through a set of rollers which embed a texture into the material. A small tube blows air onto the pressed material to cool it and to keep the rollers cool. This is one of the rollers after I turned it on my lathe with a close-up view of the texturing. And this is a close-up video of the material being extruded and pressed through the rollers. Here's a close-up view of the finished material once it has been cut to length. There is a waffle pattern embedded into the plastic which provides plenty of surface area for bacterial growth. The media lies flat which helps to retain moisture during a drain cycle. The pieces have plenty of spaces between each other for water and root growth. Most HDPE plastic is classified as food grade. However, one problem is that nothing likes to stick to it. Even though a texture has been embossed into the plastic, a small amount of movement can disrupt anything that was clinging to it. This is a time-lapsed video taken with my plant cam over a 30-day period. There are three bean plants growing. I also planted lettuce seed, which didn't germinate, probably because the top inch of the media doesn't retain moisture like stone or expanded clay. After 30 days, I removed the beans from the aquaponic system. I had the net basket wrapped in foil to prevent the roots from wandering into the surrounding stone. The roots seemed to have an aversion to growing in the plastic and mainly grew between the basket and the foil. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to see future videos.